Hey guys, this is Corey with Baker Ford. Stop it! <laughs> Put the laser pointer down! <laughs> we need that laugh in there too. Hey guys, this is Corey with Baker Forge and Tool, and today we're gonna make 3D printed mosaic Damascus. Let's do it. So first step for the 3D Damascus mosaic stuff is working in a CAD file and designing your design. So if you take a look here at the screen, what we have, if I can figure out how to use this, is our beard logo. Um, we use Shaper 3D as our software. Um, and actually, I don't personally do this. I have a, a guy who does this for me, who does the design work. And he basically takes this a 2D rendering of the logo and then in pulls it up into a 3D model. All right, so once you have your file, your 3D file made up in your CAD software, you then export it into a file that your slicer software can read. Now, this is basically the bed of the 3D printer, and this is going to create all the commands for the 3D printer. So you drag your file in, your CAD file, and you can see it places it right here on the table. And if we rotate it, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. But for this, we'll leave it totally flat. And we're going to create a, a print schedule for it. Uh, it does pretty much everything for you. I have a couple of adjustments and tweaks made. Uh, platform temperature, extruder temperature, and speed of the first layer. Um, it's just some things that I have adjusted. And that print really well for me. So we're just going to hit OK. Yes. And you're going to save it to your desktop or, or wherever. Um, I've already got this one loaded, so this then goes on to a thumb drive. Thumb drive goes in the printer, and the printer prints the form. So there you go. And once you have this 3D form, you can now fill with all your different colors, powders, uh, to isolate this image inside your can. And now we're gonna do a couple of tests, not with this particular pattern, but I've got some other patterns here. I've got a maple leaf. And the cool spirally looking one. So we're gonna do a couple of these. We've got a couple of test cans that we've built up and we're gonna show you guys how this works. So, can is now in the forge, it's come up to heat. Once it comes up to temperature, we normally let it soak about 15, 20 minutes. And now that it's been soaking, we're gonna set the weld, go into flat dives, we're gonna go very gently, just to slowly start compressing that powder into a solid mass. Uh, small bites, like half inch, quarter inch at a time, is all you wanna do at this stage, so you don't crumple that can in on itself. All right, let's go.
so hand ends are cut, the steel inside is solid. Uh, you don't want to draw it out too far before you do this, you cut it, because uh, you want to work that can out before it stretched really long. So the ends look really good, the can was peeling already, so throw it back in the heat and we'll work it still on the flat guides again, and without the lid on the end, it'll help loosen things up. switch up to the other dies now. All right, so we're gonna swap out these flat dies and we're gonna put in square dies. That's gonna help do a little more even or angle pressure on that can to help pop it loose. This is what square die looks like. It's got a matching V top and bottom. Just like that. Now we're gonna do that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I can't see it very well. I can't. No, oh, that's it. Yeah, that was the main one. No, that's the star. Oh, it's the star? Look at that. Oh. Dude. That's what it's supposed that's to do. Amazing. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. Alright, so what we're doing here is on the diagonal corners. We're just going to zip a line to cut the canister and we'll reheat it. And when we press on it, those can are going to break right there, and that billet should be able to drop right out. Oh, there's one half of it. Just to tap off the rest. So, hands are off. Now we're going to run through a smaller set of squaring dies just to screw it up, clean it up, get it nice and square, and then we're going to let them cool and we'll do a test edge. So we've taken the blocks, we've ground the ends up to a 120 grit and then a scotch bright, and we're just gonna do a quick test etch and see what they look like. They've been soaking in the acid for about 10 minutes and now it's time to pull them out and see what we got. We should have a star and a maple leaf. I'd have to say that came out really well. Uh, I'm going to buff these up a little bit, get them cleaned up, and then we'll take some close-ups. Well, that is canister Damascus using a 3D printer for making the form. Um, this technology was discovered by Steve Swarzer and Ron Hardman uh, up at Kilroy's workshop later or earlier this year. And they kind of came up with this entire concept and it's, it's genius, it's groundbreaking. Um, anybody who's out there and got a 3D printer and the ability to make Damascus, it's super easy to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.
Roll credits. 